over the weekend I got this uh, comment on my uh, one of the videos I, uh, I put out on the Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, it has to do with uh, Jessica Alquist, uh, the, the, the random bit known as an, an Jessica Alquist. Um, I want to take a look at this page. It was a guy named uh, some someone, some other random bit named uh, Nerd Wonder. And you look at his uh, channel, and there's basically no information on the guy. It's it's functionally uh, a bitch fest uh, of how horrible his life is, and uh, it's, it's it's basically an entire channel channel of rants. Uh, and apparently, this person's an atheist, uh, and he's uh, not afraid to tell you that. But it's 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 so filled with complaints that. Uh, in terms of co complaining videos, it's, 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 it, all it is is a bunch of whiny. So if you like whiny stuff, ran, whiny random stuff, then that's that's fine. Uh, but I, I'm going to uh, his comment was search for Jessica Alquist and you get six pages of this guy and he leaves it as a question mark. That's his comment. So I'm going to reply to the comment and it's going to be tiled uh, the random clump known as. Uh, no, known as Jessica Alquist. And the reason why I call uh, Jessica Alquist is uh, a random clump is because of the fact she is an atheist. And she has stood up uh, for the atheist cause and become a poster child uh, that, and a lot of her issue went viral many months ago when I first started uh, Big Bang Theory RL uh, on YouTube. And there was a big to-do about it, and uh, as most to-dos do uh, on, on YouTube, uh, it's fairly short-lived. Uh, but the thing is, is that my work here isn't, and I explained this in uh, several of my videos, that uh, uh, I will be rolling out bit by bit over a period of months and a couple of years my response to Jessica Alquist. And more particularly, this to, to the response to uh, atheism. And I set up a uh, whole a playlist uh, known as, uh, as I'm going to do uh, uh, the Mega Construct. The Mega Construct list has moved off and grown up and moved on to its own channels, uh, specific to I each section covering uh, atheism. Uh, and I have uh, comments why, and the Big Bang Theory, uh, comments why o Omega. Uh, which stands is a mathematical term for comments Y in the domain of Omega. Uh, as the comments list to where I will deal with all issues regarding uh, Jessica Alquist and atheism. And issues regarding to uh, the Omega construct. The Omega construct is going to connect science with theology. Uh, this demonstrate that there is enough observer observable evidence to make a a definitive statement on the existence of God, regardless of whether what the uh, atheists think or don't think. But the atheists have a fundamental problem because uh, when you talk to an atheist, you look at the atheistic based science uh, and everything around us is caused by an accident and most of atheism rejects God in the favor of science and they always talk about how uh, most uh, religious people are not science or that they're idiots they're morons or so on and so forth which I find Iran ironic and this person does the exact same thing he talks about the you know the moronic uh, Christians or the, or, the, or the religious who uh, you know wonder why they are the way they are and this is something I was kind of uh, talking about yesterday at my uh, at, at my relative's house, when we were talking about the issues in Greece, and they're all f basically from Greece, and they actually have houses in Greece. They're talking about the situation in Greece, and you go out into the street, you see all the homeless, you see the people starving to death, you see the one guy, the pharmacist who shot himself, and you know who committed suicide. Then you go out. These are all the intelligent, you know, atheist people. These are this is where the Communist Party is here. The uh, I, I call, I call them the Euro Greeks, right? And there's two ways of spelling Euro, and two different pronunciations. And this is what Greeks often do. They'll often take a word like Euro Greek, which, which typically means European, 
And because you can associate with another word, yiro, and yiro means to be spun. I call them spun Greeks because these people are so dizzy with uh, Western theology, I mean, West, with Western thought, and Western theology to a certain degree, that they've become so functionally ignorant that when the government no longer provides them with food, they despair, starve to death, or commit suicide. Yet, if you go out to the country, and we go into, let's go back to the beginning of atheism, and the issues of Jessica Alquist, and the theory of evolution, and Darwin's concept of survival of the fittest, then we see the people who survive these cases, these uh, catastrophes within the cities, uh, are not actually city people. They're the people out in the countries and the villages. And you go out there and they're, they're fine. They're, they have their dinners. They have, you know, a lot of their family gathered. There's not really the, the issues that we see uh, in terms of city hall with this. It has more to do with a poverty of the spirit, more of a, is, 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 it's, the, the, they've become so dysfunctional that if something isn't provided for them that the city, every city provides, like food, electricity, and shelter, they functionally don't know how to survive. And so if you want to go back to the survival of the fittest and ask, well, who's the fittest? Well, it's certainly not the city people, and it's certainly not the intellectuals, because they're the ones starving to death now. This is why you see the riots in Greece because of the comment with the comments and the anarchists up there. And these uh, these people are, are functionally they I call them Euro Greeks. They, they are, are and it's spelled the way you know, the Greek you know G you know is well gamma is Euro so it's, it's basically spelled the same way you spell Euro as in terms of the of the the spinning meat, right? The spun because Euro means to spin. And Instead of so, it's instead of the European Greek, it's or Euro Greek, it's Euro and spun Greek. So these people out in the streets, these these communists who are functionally not Greek, they're Germans, uh, are basically spun Greeks, and they have they've lost such contact with their history and origins that when uh, the government doesn't do something for them, they see they're being wronged in some way. This is how they react. They have no capacity and no function to c take care of themselves. They're functionally invalids. They're like they're, they they meet the actual definition. If you look at, at the uh, I'm doing the um, the new show and this is going to be coming up on it's going to be another uh, six pages uh, of Jessica Alquist coming up where I show up. Uh, I'm doing the Adventures in the Library and they talk about morons. Well, basically, most communists and socialists, these intellectuals because they can't feed and take care of themselves functionally. Uh, they fall within, even though intellectually they have an intellectual capacity, their actual living capacity is they meet the definition of moron. And they don't really seem to understand it. They, they live in their own world. They only live in their own sort of, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, haze. And it, it, and the thing is, they, but they think that they are all that, and they're not. And every time these events occur, uh, life comes up and kicks them in the ass, and they start complaining. And this is basically what this guy is doing here, this nerd wonder, whoever this guy is. I have no idea. Is Somehow I think life has kicked him in the ass, and uh, he's complaining about it. And that's all you see on his uh, YouTube channel, is his complaints about how life has kicked him in the ass. Um... But as for as for uh, uh, Jessica and this whole issue uh, about uh, her stance on atheism, atheism is based on the concept that uh, the world was an accident and everything is random and so on and so forth. Well, if if this is true, if it, let's uh, take the argument for its own sake that uh, we are, this is everything is an accident. 
and accept that an atheist wa who wants to be an atheist can be an atheist. If you're, if you're in a free will society, and I certainly believe in free will, this is part of my theology, and I can demonstrate this part of, part of my theology, and I'm going to be demonstrating this part of my, th my theology. This is why Big Bang Theory RL kind of exists, and this is why uh, this Big Bang Theory RL is in many senses connected to Jessica Alquist because she chose to stand up on atheism. Atheism is an existential philosophy. It has now become a religion because there's no proof for it. Uh, someone says, well, we don't have to prove uh, that atheism is right. Well, yes, you do have to prove atheism. If you stand up and say the, 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 the sky is red, you're going to have to stand up and prove it. If you make a statement, it's up to you to prove it. You don't have to, I don't have to prove that, 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 that the sky is red. Why should I care what you say? And more particularly, if you're a random bit and everything is random, who cares? It's all random anyways. I mean, this, this, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give atheists their due and say, well, if you want to be an atheist, fine, then you're a random bit. And most random bits uh, put the... the you, Ra you, you can't put together a proper sentence. You can't do anything because it's all random. Your degrees are worthless. Anything you say is worthless because it's all random. So the random noises coming out of the atheist community, uh, which attempts to form a intellectual thought, which always stays random and really doesn't make much sense if you start sitting down looking at it. Uh, will always insist on its own existence simply because of the ego that exists within these random bits. And when you really look at it, there's nothing there. So I will continually call Jessica Alquist and all these other people random bits because that's what they are. They're random bits and random clumps. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. But the thing is, if Jessica Alquist wanted to really stand up and, 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 and uh, this is on the search issue, stand up and be recognized as the poster child for, uh, for atheism, then I'm actually doing her a favor because I am continually talking about this. I'm talking about science. I'm talking about religion and theology in here uh, on a regular basis. Uh, and things are going to be developing more along this line anyway. So, so if she wants to be this, then every time I pop up, her name pops up as well. And uh, her name, and so anytime I do work, her name will pop up. You type in Jessica Alquist, that, uh, my stuff pops up. And I'll be talking about her stuff, her atheism, her poster child for atheism. And so she's going to be getting this. You know, this is what she wanted. The fact that she actually hasn't uh, produced anything, and this is what you see on the search engine, she hasn't produced anything, uh, speaks volumes. <laughs> she's a random bit. And most atheists out there are random bits. And they can't argue other otherwise because this co whole concept of random bits is their own philosophy, their own religion, their own theology. And, and basically, uh, for those of you who are atheists, you are now a religion. Thank you. You know, congratulations. You now have a religion. You have no proof. You have no reality. Um, the science uh, that you claim to be yours is now obsolete. Uh, it was fine back in the 1800s if, when you called it mo when, when it was modern science, you know. But modern science at the 1800 1800s were over. Modern science is no longer modern science. It's classical science now. Well, right? so you know, I said you. I believe in free will. You have the right to make any choice you want to make, and if you want to be a random bit uh, as an atheist, then fine. You know. Uh, my perspective is uh, I don't see why you need money. I don't see why you need a house. I don't th see why we should, you know, as these, if you're a random bit atheist and you're asking, oh, we should care about humanity. Why? If everything is a random bit, then who cares? And, you know, take the view of the uh, of the nihilists and the uh, of the anarchists. I mean, the the ultimate view of an atheist is anarchy and nihilism, and that's the way you should be viewing things. You know, go destroy yourself. You know, if you don't exist, then who cares? You know, smoke, whatever, you know, drink, go up, party, have a good time, do whatever you want to do, you know, kill people, uh, you know. Do whatever you want, because it's, it's, a, it's of no consequence. If you're random, and you can't get order out of random, that, that order doesn't spontaneously pop up, 
Um, random stays random, and this is this is n well known within physics. That you know, uh, this is well well within the uh, Newton laws of physics, the Newton laws of mo motion. An object's in motion doesn't stay in motion unless another force acts on it. Right? That's standard Newton. Right? Conservation of mass, conservation of energy. Right? You can't create something out of thin air. And that what, and most of the equations in physics ba are based on this pro on this principle, and you can't violate this principle. So if uh, if random is the way things are for you, then random is the way things are now for you. So random is as random is. And that's sort of the comment for Jessica Alquist and 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 the re the, the random bit that out Jessica Alquist is. And for the rest of you random bits out there, leave a comment. I will respond, but I don't think you're going to understand what I'm going to say, because everything you say is random, and everything I say to you, it's also random. So who cares? Anyways. I'm gonna continue on with it. I'm not. I'm not random. That's not my choice. But if you, your, your choice is random, fine. You know, that's, that's uh, these. These are your choices. You you have the right to make your choices. However, you want to make your choices. You know, uh, but I also have the right to make my choices. And my choice is, uh, uh, I'm following my research. I'm following what my observations tell me. And my observation tell me is that uh, science is not random. The na the world is not random. Uh, I see or uh, in the uh, periodic table as uh, did uh, Mendeleev. I see order in physics, as did Sir Isaac Newton, who was, ironically, not an atheist. Uh, same thing with Einstein, same thing could be said for Einstein. He found order in the universe. He was not an atheist. Um, I would say that uh, Richard Feynman was more of an agnostic, than, it, but he was certainly not an atheist, uh, if you look at what, what he did. Um, I really can't name any significant scientist in physics uh, who was really an atheist. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry, atheists. Y you're not science. You're not science-based. You're, um, as I said, randomness. And that's all you are, and that's all you will remain. These are not my choices. And so, uh, my choice is I've seen enough from my observations in science that I am willing now to take the leap with the Omega Construct and connect science with religion and in theology. And this is going to be something that's ironic, not only re ironically revolutionary, but also something that many people of other different religions will find troubling because, just like in physics, while you have many different views and perspectives of things, the reality is often more, more often than not one thing and one thing only. Just the way uh, the philosophers of, uh, of ancient Greece and Buddha understood there weren't multiple gods, there wasn't, multi uh, multiple, uh, there wasn't a polytheism, but a monotheism, pa and paved the way from the early uh, primitive uh, polytheism into the more, uh, the basis of the civil, word, civil world which was monotheism. Anyways, I will leave you with that. And this is comments why in the domain of Omega Construct. All right. Take it easy.